You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update and two people are killed in a fire in Pasadena. This happened overnight just after 1230 on Thomas Road. Fire officials say that someone inside the home called 911 saying they were trapped. The firefighters did get a man and woman out of that home, but they died at the scene. Their names have not been released. They said to have been in their 70s. Two firefighters were also taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Right now, investigators believe that fire started in the kitchen and was accidental, but the cause is still under investigation. Well, Baltimore County Public Schools is hiring. They're holding a bus driver and attendant event on Friday. It's going to be at the Cockeysville bus lot right off White Avenue from 10 until 2. All applicants need to register online before the event and bring a driver's license or ID. Bus driver applicants should also bring a copy of their complete driving record. And the state health department is still dealing with the aftermath of a server outage, so the latest COVID-19 metrics not are all, all up to date. They are able to update the hospitalization rates. Right now, 984 people are being treated for serious cases of the virus. That's up 59 from yesterday. The other metrics, including the number of people who have died and the state's positivity rate, are still not updated. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Friday Eve, Maryland. We're dealing with extra clouds building in through the afternoon. Temperature wise, we're only going to be topping out in the low to mid 40s once again. So that's still below average for this time of year. Winds will eventually veer out of the south around 5 to 12 miles per hour later on today and stay out of the south as we head into your Friday. So that's going to help draw in some of that warmer and milder air. High temperature for tomorrow topping out around 54 degrees with mostly cloudy skies aloft, especially as we head into the second half of your Friday. And then Saturday is really a day you want to stay weather aware. Yes, we are going to be dealing with milder temperatures in the upper 60s and the lower 70s, but keep an eye to the sky. Gusty showers, definitely a possibility. And even the potential for some damaging wind gusts accompanying some of those storms that roll through later on in the day. Uh, but that cold front is going to be pretty quick hitting as we head into your Sunday for the second half of the weekend. Look at that temperature difference. 70 degrees for your Saturday afternoon, 51, trending more seasonal for the back half of the weekend with mostly cl uh, clear skies. We're going to be dealing with clearing taking place and kind of sticking around as we head into early next week with temperatures above normal in the mid 50s. Hey, Mother Nature keeping us on our toes. Thank you, Stevie. And stay with us at WMAR2news.com for updates to stories throughout the day and for news and weather while you're on the go. Download the WMAR2 News app in your phone's app store. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.